All right, I'll show you how I wire up multiple cues with two or three wires at a time using the alligator clips and then how I finish off the uh, terminal end of the wire at the module end. <clears throat> you can see I've got three wires here and they're all wired in parallel and then I twisted the wires together and tin them with solder so they'll plug right into the terminal there without any bare wire there's no fraying you know this is stranded wire if you use stranded wire and you didn't solder it that would all fray up and just be a mess but this is a good permanent reusable um, termination of these wires and in this particular case I've got three of them I set them up pretty close together for this demo just to show you what I'm talking about but I've got three cakes out here center right and left these wires are a lot longer than this but this is just for video demonstration purposes and then like I was talking about in my post I put alligator clips so you just clip on and clip off takes no time at all to clip them up of course, this will be laying on the ground like that. And I separate the clips and the wires so they don't short out. I make sure that the igniter wires are actually on the ground so there's no vertical gravitational force of the alligator clips pulling down. That was the center cake. And there's the left cake. And the right cake over there. So you can make these wires as long as you want. The alligator clips make for a quick connection at the igniter end. Solder your wires together with a parallel connection here. And then tin the ends of the wires to get a nice good permanent connection. Some of these wires I actually put a little speaker pin on the end, but I realized that that's not necessary, but I do like to do it because it's kind of cool looking and it's a really permanent solution to these terminations.